Sydney followed the lead of many cities in phasing out its trams, but three decades later, in cities around the world, trams were back in favour. In 1997, trams returned to Sydney with the opening of a new light rail line from Central to Darling Harbour and Wentworth Park, extended to Lilyfield in 2000. Before the new line was opened, the clock was turned back when a track cleaning tram was brought out of retirement at the Sydney Tram Museum to grind and smooth the rails. Compare the design of this veteran vehicle, 98 years old, with the sleek, low-floor, light rail vehicles of today. The new service starts from the colonnade at Central Railway. Trams run just where they did on the old lines, although the direction of operation on the ramps to the colonnade has been reversed. trams in the new fleet are 28 metres long with five articulated sections. They can carry up to 200 people. The new vehicles are air conditioned and much quieter than the trams of yesteryear. The new trams run along Hay Street past Paddy's Market <laughs> to Darling Drive where they turn on to a former railway line. Here's a flashback to a trip by steam train through the Darling Harbour area. The trams run beneath the casino. They run at up to 70 kilometers per hour along the former railway line, looping around the Piermont Peninsula, across Wentworth Park, and on to Lilyfield. This tram is returning from the terminus and running through the tunnel under Glee. An extension of the new system to Circular Quay is planned. For those who like to remember the old trams, more than 30 are preserved at the Sydney Tramway Museum at Loftus, near Sutherland. The display includes trams built as early as 1896, the counterweight from Darling Street, Balmain, and a trolley bus. An immense effort has been devoted to the restoration and maintenance of trams, mainly from Sydney, but also from other Australian cities, as well as San Francisco, Nagasaki, Munich, Milan, and three small trams from Berlin.
The large waiting shed, which once stood in the centre of Railway Square, has been painstakingly rebuilt, and many other relics have been restored. The result is the recreation of a notable era from Sydney's past. The trams are painted in the authentic colours of bygone days. They run on three kilometres of track from Sutherland to Loftus and into the Royal National Park in a bushland setting reminiscent of the heyday of trams in Sydney. For many visitors, the highlight is a ride on a toast rack tram on a track through the bush. For a few minutes, it's possible to turn back the clock and relive the experience of shooting through.